goal. So now, again, if I'm looking at prime and movement patterns, and we've already addressed some of these things we've talked about in respect to the limitations, and when people start creating movement, there's gonna be limiting forces. Do I need to increase my limiting movement, if you will? Do I need to try to test their squat? Not necessarily. Do I need to test their deadlift? Not necessarily. But I do want to test particular areas where I might have addressed that they have issues, okay? And that's going to be a hip strengthening test or a hip test, okay? The best test to really use at that, and you're going to isolate it, if you will, is a hip bridge, okay? Now, again, I want to teach them the strategies of using the right muscle groups, okay? So I may use some examples of how not to do it, okay? Not to hate on my yoga people, but the problem with yoga is they teach you a lot to pull your heels in, arch your lower back, and use your quads to create extension. And we've already addressed that in some of the other tests, but that's what they're typically doing, okay? So if they're gonna set up and do that, I pay attention to that. I don't want that happening. I want them to use their glutes and hamstrings. So I would say, keep your feet Flat. Don't pull them too far underneath, okay? Before you commit to moving, before you commit to moving, I'm pulling my shoulder blades back, and my pelvis is underneath me, and I would bridge. I'm gonna hold that for 15 seconds. After that, what I'm gonna test is their ability to do it on one leg. And what I'm looking for is, are they cheating? If this leg goes higher than the other leg, I'm cheating. I'm using my quads. But if my hip drops, I don't have the same strength capacity on unilateral positions or one leg positions. And how important is that? We do that every single day when we walk, run, change direction. Everything's done with one leg, okay? So I test those two qualities. Okay? And then finally, if I'm looking at a test, what I would do is I want to look at the ability to not just create linear strength, but what happens when I expose length or I use length, okay? This test would do that. If my arms are out here, it helps me get more leverage and strength, and I typically want to start people here. Again, I'm creating tension points or intentional activation. I'm gonna lift the leg, and I'm gonna look at rotation and rotate it back in. And I'm gonna look at how the body's reacting. If they fall, as they expose a longer position away from their midpoint, they have limitations. So how do I design a program? I teach them how to keep that body engaged in a smaller bubble sort of kinda, and then I expose the length, okay? Because if they pour the test out of that and I start introducing forms of resistance, I'm putting them at risk again. My goal is to mitigate risk, that's why they're hiring you, that's why they're, they're in your debt, that's why they trust you. So I wanna have these tests to, again, design a proper program. So I give these tests to help them see where they have limitations and help me see where they have limitations, okay? Cool? Yeah, cool. Okay.